Hey guys, this is another Xcode 4 tutorial, and we had a comment come in, and the comment was actually related to, I believe, this tab bar navigation tutorial that I did, and uh, the question was, is, you know, as I add another tab bar or a navigational controller, um, I don't have a .h or a .n, the header and implement implementation file for that specific view controller. So I want to show you actually how to hook that up. Um, so moving forward, you can still you know have the programming, the the header and implementation for those view controllers. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop another view controller on the screen. In this case, we're just going to throw a third one here, and uh, actually I'm just going to throw it here for ease. And then we're going to hook it up to the tab bar controller. If you guys remember, control drag click onto there, and so we're just going to do it, uh, set it up as a relationship segue. And so now you can see we've got a new item on our tab bar here. I'm just going to relabel this real quickly to third. Now you would assume, um, as you come over to the left, these were two pre-populated .h and .m implementations for the first view controller and the second view controllers. Now you would assume, like, just creating a view controller like this, it would already generate a third view controller .h and .m for us. But it doesn't, so we've got to go in and actually set that up. So one way to do it is you can right click and click new file. The other way obviously you go up to your menu up here, go new file. Or the final way is if you hit command N, it's going to prompt you for a new file. So either three of those ways works. Now what you want to do is go into the Coco Touch. And since we've got, since this is going to be a UI view controller, we're gonna we're gonna want to select the UI view controller subclass. So click that, and you can read the little description. It says which which is a subclass the UI view controller with a header file, which includes a header and optional XIB. So we're gonna click next, and the subclass is gonna be whatever your view controller is set up as. So in this case, we set up the we dragged uh, a new view controller to the screen. If this was a nav navigation view controller or table view controller you definitely want to select whatever subclass it is so hopefully that makes sense um, but in this case we just we had a regular view controller so we're just gonna stick with UI view controller and then class we're just gonna name this this you could name it whatever but uh, we're just gonna name it third view now right now it's uh, it's specified for targeted for the iPad I think for the tutorial we were doing we had it specified for the iPhone so we're gonna take this off and since we're using the storyboard and we don't need an XIB associated to this particular view because we've already got one set up on the storyboard, we don't uh, we don't need the XIB interface included. So once you get a name, you specify the subclass, go ahead and click next, and it's gonna ask you where you'd like to save those, save those within your project files. And as you can see, we've got a third view.h and .m over to the left here. Now that's not it because it's not hooked up to the view controller yet. So now we're going to go back to the storyboard and uh, I'm just going to zoom out so you can see where we're at. So the first view controller, if you click it and go to the, uh, what's this called up here, the identity inspector, you'll see that the class is associated to the first view controller, which is associated over here to the left as the first view controller dot h and dot m. So we have to do the same thing with this third one is if you go to the identity you'll see that nothing is assigned to it currently. So what we're going to do is assign the third view and just by typing it filled it in for me the third view to our new view controller and that's going to allow um, anything that you do in here um, to be associated with your view controller that was on the screen or for the storyboard. So keep in mind you can do the same thing with uh, again a navigational controller uh, you could do the same thing with a table view controller. Um, just the only step you got to watch out for is as you select your new view controller subclasses, make sure that your subclass correlates with uh, the specific view controller that you're going to uh, assign it to. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that clears up some issues and you guys can continue to, to uh, add tabs and develop those, those uh, view controllers within. So. We will catch you guys in the next tutorial. Be good.